This is a short demo about how to charge with your Power 12 Capture Pro Lock. So our demo starts with the J1772 Level 2 Public Infrastructure Charger Wand in my right hand. This happens to be a charge point station. And in addition, I have in my left hand the Tesla Charging Adapter. It allows the Public Infrastructure Charger to pop into the Tesla-specific charging port. Notice that the connectors fit together and the locking hook snaps over the connector slot. On the way in it simply slides over the slot, but when you remove it you push the button which raises the hook to get it over the slot. The charging wand stays attached to whatever it's connected to by that hook until the button is pressed. There's the hook. And the button is that silver button by my right thumb. Now here's how you use Capture Pro. You slide it onto the adapter after it's connected to the charging wand and push it forward toward the wand. The Capture Pro has various capture slots that fit over various sizes of retaining hook that might be encountered. The slot keeps the hook from being retracted and thus blocks the removal of the charging wand. So turn the Capture Pro until you reach a slot that fits the hook perfectly, very tightly, and press it into place over the hook as I've done here. Now the converter plus charger can plug into the Tesla and charging can begin. Once the car locks the charging port connector, the entire charging system is fixed in place and can't be removed. The green light shows charging taking place. When applying the Capture Pro, try starting with a slot that's too short, then work forward on the ring comparing until you find one that just fits tightly over the hook. Now let's see what the charger in the car does when someone tries to remove the charging wand while the owner is gone. The car is charging now, but the lighted status ring is dark. That's normal when the owner isn't nearby and doesn't need status information. But as soon as the bad guy pushes the charging wand removal button, the public charger stops charging. This is for safety reasons. And you can see the car comes back alive, showing a color-coded status value. Note it goes blue, indicating no longer charging, but ready to charge when the button is pushed. But when the wand isn't removed, the system returns to charging, and this is visible as a green status. Each time the removal button is pushed, the system responds as designed. You can see the hook moving slightly, but the Capture Pro keeps the charging wand from being physically removed. Only when the owner returns will the charger adapter be removable. In the case where the fob is back in range, pushing the button and removing the charging voltage, will unlock the Model S charger port and allow the removal of the adapter and wand together. Once the adapter and wand are removed together, slide the Capture Pro back. Now you can push the charging wand button and remove the wand from the adapter just as you normally do. That's all it takes.